Uh, Carolina hemlocks are a peculiar species of hemlocks because they only grow in rock outcropping environments in the southern Appalachians. And they're kind of like scrawny, lightly colored as opposed to maybe the eastern hemlock, which is darker needles. I'm Ken Donnie Clark and I'm a senior at UNC Chapel Hill. The main goals of the project are to find how old specific Carolina hemlock stands or groups of trees are in the region and to find relationships between climate variables like precipitation, uh, vapor pressure deficit or temperature and the growth of the Carolina hemlock individuals. For the coring process, which we use to collect the tree cores, we use an increment bore, which is a two-threaded hollow tube, essentially, which you twist into the tree. Then you extract it, and you can get the core out. You put that in a paper straw to sand and analyze later. After we collect the cores, we dry them out, and then we reassemble them under a microscope because the cores often break during the extraction process and we have to put them together like a jigsaw puzzle. After that, we glue the cores and then sand them with multiple successive grits of sandpaper in order to see some of the tighter rings. Conserving Carolina hemlocks is important because they are a foundation species. They produce a unique microhabitat with their shade and soil chemistry alterations, which isn't found in other trees, and their loss can have a ripple effect on the surrounding ecosystem and species.